Unit 3 Grammar Presentation Present Perfect Use of Present Perfect We use the Present Perfect with 1. Past actions or events with the result now. Example I've lost my keys. He lost his keys some time in the past, but the result, he can't get into his house, is in the present. 2. We use it to talk about life experience. Example, I've worked in six different countries. 3. We also use the present perfect to talk about things that are un- Finished, unfinished states, and unfinished time periods. Examples I've known him since I was 11. Unfinished state. I met him when I was 11. I still know him now. The present perfect is acting as a bridge between the past and the present. Formation 1. Affirmative Sentences To form the present perfect, we use subject plus have or has plus past participle. The past participle of regular verbs ends in ed. However, the past participle of the irregular verbs is different for each verb. See the third column of the list of irregular verbs on Unit 2. Examples I have worked for nine hours. He has eaten too much today. Negative sentences Subject plus haven't or hasn't plus past participle. Examples. We haven't been to Spain. She hasn't gone to work. 3. Interrogative sentences. We form the questions with have or has plus subject plus past participle. Examples. Have you talked to the boss? Yes, I have. Or, no, I haven't. Has Susan been to London? Question words. If there is a question word, such as who, what, which, when, where, why, whose, how, etc. in the question, it is always placed at the beginning of the sentence. Examples. Why have you talked to the boss? Where has Susan been recently? Questions with how long are very common in the perfect tenses. Examples. How long have you lived in Spain? How long has she been at this warehouse? We use ever to ask questions about experiences in someone's life. Examples. Have you ever been to England? Has your brother ever eaten Chinese food? Difference between been and gone. In this tense, we use both been and gone as the past participle of go, but in slightly different circumstances. We use been often when we talk 
about life experience to mean that the person we are talking about visited the place and came back. Examples. I've been to Paris in my life, but now I'm in London where I live. They have never been to California. We use gone often when we are talking about an action with the result in the present to mean that the person went to the place and is at the place now. Examples Where is John? He's gone to the shop. He's at the shop now. Julie has gone to Mexico. Now she is in Mexico. Just, yet, still, already. These words are often used with the present perfect tense, although yet, still, and already can all be used with other tenses. Just. Just is usually used only with the present perfect tense and it means a short time ago. Examples I've just seen Susan coming out of the warehouse. Mike has just called. Can you ring him back, please? In the present perfect, just comes between the auxiliary verb have and the past participle. Yet. Yet is used to talk about something which is expected to happen at any time up to now. It is used in questions and negatives. Examples. Have you finished your work yet? The speaker expects that the work will be finished. I haven't finished it yet. I'll do it after the break. Yet usually comes at the end of the sentence. Still. Still is used to talk about something that hasn't finished, especially when we expected it to finish earlier. Examples. I've been waiting for over an hour and the bus still hasn't come. You promised to give me that report yesterday and you still haven't finished it. Still usually comes in mid position. Already. Already is used to say that something has happened early or earlier than it might have happened with affirmative sentences. Examples. I have already spent my salary and it's two weeks before payday. The train has already left. What are we going to do? Already usually comes before the past participle. For and since. We use for when we measure the duration, when we say how long something lasts. For plus a period of time. Be careful to measure a period of time up to the present. We use the present perfect tense and not the present tense. Examples. I have known her for a long time. 
correct. I know her for a long time. Incorrect. I have lived here for ten years. Correct. I live here for ten years. Incorrect. Since. Since gives the starting point of actions, events, or states. It refers to when things began. Since plus a point in time, in the past, until now. Examples. I've been waiting since seven o'clock. I have known him since January. He hasn't smoked a cigarette since he met his wife. Thank <laughs> you.